Y'all, it's taking everything in me. I try everything in me to get up and, and do this right now. I've been in my lazy girl era probably for the past, since May. That's when I started sl slacking with the gym. So I've been in my lazy girl era since May. On top of that, I'm on my period right now. So I really don't want to do nothing. And on top of that, I'm also like just struggling mentally. And I'm just not feeling that encouraged to go to the gym right now. But it's almost 4.30 in the morning. And if I'm going to go to the gym, um, I need to leave by 4.40. So I'm going to go ahead and get dressed and go to the gym. Do I feel like it when I tell y'all what? Every bone in my body, no. But I know once I go, I'm going to feel good about going. And I'm going to feel like, oh, it wasn't that hard. Like, it literally is just the act of getting up and going. Like, literally it's getting out of the bed. That's the hard part. It's not even the workout itself. It's usually just getting out of bed. So, I did step one. If you're new here, welcome back to my channel. Oh, no. What? Okay. Brain fog. Oh, wait. Back it up. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you already subscribed, if you're not subscribed, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe while you're here. Um, in this video, I really just want to try to push myself to be productive. Even though my period, even though I don't feel like it, even though I don't have the motivation right now, I just want to just try to be disciplined because literally y'all, it is the last few months of the year. It's time to lock in. It's either now or never. And it's like, there's no time like the present. Like, what are you waiting on? So I'm like, you know what? Let me quit making excuses. Let me quit. You know, I, I think there's a, a very, very fine line between giving yourself grace and then just being lazy. And don't get me wrong, sometimes you need grace. Sometimes you overwork yourself. Sometimes you have too much going on. You can't, you know, do everything. But sometimes you just kind of enable yourself to not do what you know you're supposed to be doing. And I know I'm supposed to be going to the gym. And one thing that my trainer is really good at reminding us is that everybody don't have the privilege of going to the gym everybody don't have the privilege of moving their body so it's something that you shouldn't take for granted anyway so yeah we going to the gym um today's gonna be step it step it up thursday this is literally my first time going to the gym since before my birthday so it's been over a month um i wanted to do step it up because i know i love that class like it's so fun to me i probably don't know none of the songs now but yeah we're gonna try okay so let me put on some clothes and I guess I'll check in with y'all. Yeah, this should be interesting. I'm really trying to push myself here, y'all, because I ain't gonna say I've been like lazy in all aspects of life. I feel like some aspects of mine have been doing really good. Like y'all see, I've been posting a lot, but then it's like, babe, when last time I went to the gym? How's your sleep schedule? Those things I need to work on, but I'm doing good with like work and consecration. So love that for me. It's really just a balancing act. So yeah, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get dressed, and then I'll show y'all. Yo, why do I look so much darker, and it's literally the same place? I guess because I got them black. I don't know. But anyways, y'all, so I'm actually about to be running a little bit late, so I'm going to hurry up. But yeah, I'm dressed. I decided to wear all black because I'm literally... One thing I realized about myself, and I don't know if it's because I'm a Virgo, but I literally wear my heart on my sleeve. Like, if I'm upset or feeling some type of way, baby, you going to know it because... My face usually says it all, but if my face don't, my body language will, or my outfit will, like... Something about me is going to tell you how I'm feeling. But anyways, so I have on my black Lululemon set. Um, I'm wearing the Wonder Under leggings, which I honestly, I don't know. We're going to see how this workout goes with them. I've worn these before, but I don't really remember how much I like them. But they're supposed to be good for tummy support. So we're going to see. This tank top is actually from Target. I don't have any black Lulu tops. So you might be mixing blacks, but it's okay. And then I got my black Lulu jacket. Because I honestly thought it was going to be, like, really cold outside, but it's not as bad as it was last night. So, probably didn't even need the jacket, but she's part of the outfit. So, yeah. I'm wearing my little Yeezys, y'all. I really rarely wear these shoes to um, workouts, but step is a pretty easy workout class, and I can pretty much do, like, wear any shoes to it. So, yeah. Um, I have a little bit of water left over from last night, so I'm just going to refill it and go like that. I do got to spray my face and stuff, though. See, like, I'm just a mess because I ain't went in so long, so I kind of forgot the routine, y'all, but usually before I leave, if nothing else, I just like to put on lip gloss and then spray my little SOS. And it was one more thing I like to do, wash my lashes, because even though it's the gym, I'm still not about to be coming in front of nobody with no crusty eyes, so. It's a different type of confidence you have when you go to the gym and you know you've been there, like, consistently versus you know you about to be, like, the new person there, even though you've been there before. And that's how I be feeling. Like, some people there, they gonna know me and be like, oh, she just came back. Some people gonna be like, oh, she just came. And they, I feel like they gonna kind of, sh not shame me, because nobody there is like that, but I, I just feel like in my head, I'm like, oh, she's new. She's not gonna stay. I wonder how long she's gonna last. Whole time not knowing, I've been here before. I was working out consistently. I just fell off. But... Yeah, so let me go ahead and spread my face. 
in my gloss. And yeah, y'all, I don't have no lash shampoo, so not too much on why I basically tried to clean my lashes with water. Actually, I'm put on this one. Because this stuff is so good, y'all. I was trying to find another one, a different one. But it's probably like so slept on, but yeah, Bath and Body Works little lip moisturizer is tea. So I'm about to be extra, not even because y'all here, but just because of the fact that we started like, what do you call it? Not roasting fires, is that what you call it? Whatever. Um, setting up fires and my mama literally told me and say like, do not go to bed like that. It's going to mess up your sheets. You're going to smell like it. Well, lo and behold, my sheets smell like fire. And I changed my clothes, but I know my hair probably smells like it too. So I'm like, let me just spray my hair down. But yeah, let's go for real. worse on myself and be running late on my first day back to the gym hopefully it's not awkward as fuck but yeah girl let's let's go whoa 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 want it all i won't leave a breadcrumb it's what i thought a nigga said something I thought a nigga said something g block all we know is red rum red rum red rum red rum red rum g block all we know is red rum red rum Why would you fall? I was looking cute. I'm not even finna tell y'all my plans for today because every time I tell my plans, it's like I'm gonna be going the way that I have things planned. So I'm just going to go with the flow. I do have a lot of things that I wanna try and get done today. And I was just was like, you know what? Let me bring y'all along with me because this might be the motivation that you need to be productive and get stuff done. Yeah, y'all, Um, I know for a fact that I am going on a little friend date today. I'm gonna meet up my friend Ellison. Literally, we see each other like every six months. So every time we see each other, it just, we click like we never left. And it's like, to say she's somebody that I don't talk to that often, she's one of my closest, closest friends. And then the restaurant that we're going to, y'all, I've never been to before, but I heard it's pretty good. We're going to go get some Mexican, but I was like, before I do that, I want to go to Dunkin', get me a little drink, and I also want to go look in Walmart. I really need to get some groceries, but I also want to see if I can find, like, some home decor or maybe some hygiene products, so I was in there as well. Miss Girl will be joining us today because I'm trying to give her daddy and her grandma a break, so. Yeah, she's going to be with me today as well. And when I come back home, I need to clean up my room, do some self-care. As y'all can tell, I'm already dressed. Um, I just gotta do like my skincare, my hair, and stuff like what? that. I know that my lashes look crazy, y'all. I actually decided very recently what? that I'm going to take a lash break. What? Because if y'all know me, like I'm actually terrified of taking my lashes off. I feel like I do not look remotely the same without them. I feel like these take me up from like an eight to a 10. And that's not a healthy way to be thinking. Like, yeah, I literally don't feel confident without lashes, and that's not the way it's supposed to be. So, I decided I'm gonna take a lash break, honestly, because lashes, not only are they expensive, but um, they can just be like a lot to take care of. I decided I'm gonna take a lash break, so I'm just gonna let all these fall off. So, I know I look crazy, but it's like that weird middle ground between when you, you know, not exactly, I can't even get a feel with this probably. Like, these are way past the feel. But it's like, I'm not exactly at like a lash set, but I'm not exactly ball lashes neither. I'm just in that weird middle face. So please bear my lashes. But yeah, y'all decide. I'm gonna just take me a lash break because I can't tell y'all the last time I took a lash break. And two, it's just like, I know that I'm getting way too dependent on lashes. It's like, to the point where I'm like, if I can't get my lashes done, I have to be seen without my lashes like I don't want to go nowhere and it's like girl you need to you know know that you're cute without lashes and stuff so I'm gonna take me a little lash break I feel like I don't know how to wear headbands with braids y'all like am I supposed to do a middle part or do it straight back because that was the problem on my birthday like I didn't know how to put this headband on and it actually looked cute like this looks crazy right yeah that looks crazy let me redo this but yeah y'all so we're just gonna be running some errands today trying to get our life together per usual I feel like I be doing the same thing all the time, but, like, why would I not always be trying to get my life together? Like, I think I should... I mean, obviously, I would want my life to be together, but when you get it together, it kind of falls apart, like, right after that. Oh, my God, I literally just hit myself in the face. Okay, yeah, this looks way better. I think I like it better just going straight back. Yeah, that's cute. That's cutie. Yeah, I think it look better like this, so... 
it's time to go she got a little best y'all this weather is so freaking crazy like you want some she'd be so scared <laughs> you ready <laughs> it's like she'd be so scared but she love it i don't know um but yeah y'all this weather so bipolar like I really told myself, like, oh yeah, I definitely need a jacket or what I wear. And I went outside to go get my tripod just now, y'all. Like, it's warming up. Like, I can't. It's like, I think right now we're in that phase where it's really cold in the morning and then it warm up later on in the day. So, like, what you wear in the morning, you can't really wear. And it's better to dress in later. So, I guess it's a good thing I got a jacket because I can just take it off if I get too hot. But it's part of the outfit. So, I don't know if I want to, but... Yeah, I was like, oh, you know, it's cute fall weather and go outside. And I'm like, dang, it, it'll warm up a little bit. But, yeah, I'm so ready for fall. Like, I don't like fall weather. But, baby, the fall fashion, the sweatsuits, they eat down. They eat down, they eat down, they eat down, y'all. I'm so ready for that. I really need to get my closet together for fall. Not even for fall, but just in general, I need to get my closet together. But in order for me to get my fall and winter stuff in my closet i'm gonna need to go through everything and do a closet clean out first i went through my jeans y'all mind you i only have like maybe five pair of jeans why well, i had to get rid of two more because i can't fit them i literally have no bottoms that fit me like i'll be growing so fast <laughs> and i haven't been working out recently like consistently I haven't been working out why well, can't fit some stuff that i bought this summer like really nigga so yeah we dress pretty much i'll show you my outfit in the mirror if i have a chance but if not i'll just see y'all when we get to dunking because that's what we're going at first okay cute not too much all right y'all i'm gonna give y'all a quick little outfit of the day got this little blue skim set i love these pants because like look how how wasted they are y'all like they literally like the shirt and the pants me that's how you know they're super high waisted but that's great because i'm on my cycle so this is literally exactly what i need i love how the pants is flared i got on my us uh, y'all but these are so old like i literally need a new pair so bad so i might change to my yeezys but so i'm real cute comfortable and chill getting very much errands yeah very cute so yeah i'm pretty sure that's what i'm gonna wear like i said i might change my shoes i gotta find a bag but be ready to go so let's head out i'm gonna go ahead and start washing my sheets and stuff before i go so i'm about to clean off my bed and kind of declutter and then i'll meet y'all in the car so let's go ahead and take everything off this bed and go ahead and get these sheets washed <laughs> So um, I made it to the restaurant. Me and Ellison decided to have dinner a little early, which I feel like it's going to work out better anyway. So that way I can get like all the groceries I need. Because at first I was like, okay, let me not get nothing perishable. Because I know me and her, we like to yap a lot. So I was like, if I get something that like need to be refrigerated, it's probably going to spoil. So I was like, I'm just going to get the stuff that can't perish. But now that we having dinner first, I can go ahead and get everything I need to get from the Walmart. So yeah. But um, I need to put on those shoes and stuff. She's asleep. I knew she was going to go to sleep as soon as we got in the car. So bless her heart for that. Yeah, y'all. I just want to tell y'all a little minor change of plans. But I'm really trying to work on like not being so controlling and not trying to like plan everything out. So it's, it's cool with me because I'm learning to go with the flow. So yeah, y'all. And I didn't tell y'all. I don't know if y'all can hear it in the background. Hopefully y'all can't because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. But your girl has discovered Billie Eilish. Like, I've been sleeping on sets for so long. So many TikTok songs is by Billie Eilish. And, like, I'm listening to the lyrics and I'm like, uh, did you write this song for me? Like, I love her. I love her. I see the hype. Like, I feel like, where have I been? I wasted all this time not listening to her. Like, she's chef's kiss. I love her, okay? But, yeah, so I'm a new Billie fan. If y'all have a Billie playlist, put me on, y'all. I mainly listen to her, like, songs from her newest album, but... Put me on if y'all got some songs because I really like her. So, yeah. Is this Ellison? I can't tell. Yeah, that is. Okay, let me put on over shoes. Let me go. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, it's about like an hour or two later. Um, dinner was good. I actually got to meet my friends, a boyfriend. So, that was really nice because, you know, we always be talking about y'all. So, getting to meet you in person and put... Well, I know what your face looks like, but you know, getting to see you in person is like, you know, good. But he was so nice and so sweet, and I love seeing my girl. Like, we just we just talk so much, y'all. Like, literally, I don't even think neither one of us was hungry just now. Like, I got something, I got it to go. She didn't get really anything at all. We literally just went here to talk. 
Like, we literally just went there to talk. I was like, I wish I was in love with hip hop or something. And I had a camera crew behind me because we literally just came here to establishment just to talk. We really didn't come here for the food. But I did get something to go. So hopefully I get to try it out and see if I like it or not. But I told y'all I want to come to Dunkin'. So we're going to do that first and foremost before anything else. I think I'm going to get me a matcha. But I want to see is um I want to see if I can get a matcha with pumpkin cold foam. So if I can't get pumpkin cold foam, then I'm probably not going to get a matcha. Not going to yi. I'll probably just get like a little pumpkin chai latte. Because I feel like that would be more the vibes. But yeah, I just need to get me something to drink before I get started. Well, not to get started. I just want to get me something to drink. Something to hold in my hand while I'm in Walmart. So yeah. Let's get this drink and then let's head to Walmart. Let me see if we can even get pumpkin cold foam. Can you get pumpkin cold foam? Or is that just a Starbucks thing? I don't know. Okay, they do got it. So yeah, we're gonna get a matcha. Ooh, hey, how did I order my matchas? Okay, I got it in our app. I should be good. But I hate how you can't really customize in the app because like, baby, I want my points, but yeah. We're gonna get a cute matcha. I kinda want something small and cute, but I also know I'm gonna drink a lot of it. So let me get a medium. Cause yeah. Um, no ma'am. Okay, um, can I do a medium matcha latte? Is that hot or iced? Um, can I get that iced? Yes ma'am. Can I get that with pumpkin cold foam? We don't have that unfortunately. Okay, can I actually do a chai latte then with um, cold foam? And then can I get pumpkin added to the uh, chai latte? Okay, is that alongside the matcha or is that in place of? In place of it. Okay, so one medium iced chai latte and then you want to cold the cold one on it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then can I get pumpkin um, added to that? Yes, ma'am. How many shots do you like? We usually do three. Uh, three is fine. Okay. And then can I also get caramel drizzle and that'll be all? Yeah, I got 717 points. So I'm definitely finna see if I can use one of these. Oh, it says it's foolish child, so I'm just gonna have to pay her. <laughs> Thank you so much. You too. I'm okay wondering if I ordered the wrong drink, but I don't think I ever had a chai latte from Dunkin'. Cause I'm looking like, why is it so light? And I think the last one that I had, I don't know if it was blended or what. No, it wasn't, but I don't know. Something just so weird about this drink, y'all. I'm kind of worried now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little worried now. I swear, y'all, everybody can see me from where I parked at, but... <laughs> Um, I, I don't know. This chai look a little light to me. I don't know if I ever had a chai, um, latte from Dunkin'. So, we gonna see how this goes, y'all. Let me take a little pick of my drinky drink. I don't know why online they say they got, um, they got pumpkin cold foam. And then my store telling me no. I don't know if my store being lazy or if they really just don't have it or what. But that's what they told me, chai. I don't know. So... Dunking y'all, y'all gonna have to see about that. Oh wow, I will drop my fucking straw. <laughs> oh sorry, y'all, aggravating. Okay, let me try this out because I'm actually running behind and I need to go ahead and go in this store. So let me see what this is talking about. It's bomb. I really think chai tea lattes just need to be my go-to drink in general, not even just for pumpkin. Cause why is you looking at my car that much, bruh? <laughs> but yeah. It's good, so I'm happy about that. And pumpkin, not even pumpkin. I think it's the chai tea that got, like, the chai tea just go good with it. But, yeah, she's tea. She's actually tea, so. With a McDonald's straw, is crazy, but it is what it is. So, yeah, y'all, my little drink is drinking. So, we finna go in the store. I'm really looking for groceries because I'm still trying to restock our fridge from what the hurricane took away the hurricane pretty much wiped out everything so i still need to restock our refrigerator and then i need to get a few little cleaning supplies and then i might peek over at the hygiene section because i want to see if they got some stuff that i've been wanting so yeah y'all that's what we finna do um i'm gonna meet y'all in the store and yeah i did see they have a five below over there and i said i was gonna go in there but i'm gonna be good and not go because i am trying to save my money for one and two like i said i'm running behind it's really the time thing for me i don't mind spending my coin but I'm running behind, so I'm not going to go in there, even though I'm very tempted to. And that's like a new location. I never even knew that was over there. So it's taking everything in me not to go there, but I'm not going to go. We don't need to go over there. It was not part of the plan. So let me stick to the plan, and I'll see y'all in the store. Yeah, I ain't had Olipops in a minute, so I'm going to get all... Well, not all of them, but I'm about to get some strawberry vanilla and these Barbie ones, because I don't even know how they still got Barbie ones out. I'm going to get some of those, and then maybe one or two colas. So let's get these. I'm going to grab like three of these. 
Okay, I just was telling y'all that I think chai might be it. And they have this honey chai turmeric vitality. So I think I'm gonna try this. I've had this one before, that was good. That also sounds good, but I just think I'm gonna try this one. Is this one we gonna go with? Yeah. So I'm gonna try this tea out, y'all. I think I'm gonna get some of these sticks too. And they're on clearance. Yeah, I think that's the sign. I'm gonna get some of these Hawaiian shade energy sticks because I like Alani, but I don't need, I have to buy them in singles, so this buggy probably loud as shit. I feel like I can't really talk because these buggy so loud, but yeah. I added a few more things to the cart. It's like more like candy and not real essential stuff, so that's why I didn't show y'all. Y'all, they remodeling in here, and I'm not, I'm so used to where I live not having nothing, so I'm like, it looks so cute. Not you trying to throw it on your shoe, girl. That's so perfect, y'all. I told y'all I was looking for cleaning supplies, and now they got the cleaning supplies by the grocery, so I don't even gotta go down there. Let me get this, because y'all, I know it's something. Ooh, I got two. I know it's something in my shower, because it's like the water keeps filling up fast, so we're gonna grab this. She's so bad. She can't never just sit down. Oh, they got the dusting sponge. I want the fall scrub. I'm gonna also pick up some of these towels because I just want something for just like my room and my bathroom. So, yeah, those are only $2. You wanna touch all the stuff there? Y'all, this is what I need right here. I don't know how they got no fall ones though. Wait, is this? No. Well, I guess I'm just gonna get what they got. I just get a scrub on me. I probably only need one, so I'm just gonna get one. Y'all, yeah, I was literally just saying I never see a lot of these in like the packs, so I'm gonna get this. How many is in there? 12? I think one of these should be good. So I'm gonna get one of these. Why? <laughs> I like to get these little Zions for a quick and easy meal sometimes. I don't know if I want that one. It's kind of big. I want one that's like bigger than that. What's my ultimate? Oh, there we go, I think. Yeah. So this little lasagna, like literally this whole side ain't got nothing in it because they're remodeling. So I probably should have picked a different location or whatever, but it's cool. Grab some of these. I wanted some Tyson um, boneless nuggets, but they don't got, they just got chicken breast and chicken nuggets. I gotta get my cookies. I think I wanna try some of these. These pumpkin ones, cause they look good. You want cookies too? I'm gonna get you some of these smoothies. What's the difference? Strawberry, strawberry banana? I'm gonna get you strawberry. So you have some. Sour cream. All right, y'all. Gotta get some milk. Y'all, these little Walmart lemonades be so good. I'm just grab two because they all at the back. All right, so I don't made it to all the grocery section, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to the home and hygiene and stuff, and I'll meet y'all when I'm over there. Or I'll just meet y'all to check out, but I done got most of the things I needed and some stuff they just didn't have, but I think we'll be okay. Y'all found some of the dough, so I'm gonna smell it and see what it's good. Apple cider caramel. And I'm not a fan. Alright, y'all. I'm leaving Walmart now. Um, I gotta go get some food for my mama, but other than that, that'll be the last errand I gotta run, so I'll probably just meet y'all when I get back home to give y'all a grocery haul and actually start getting productive. All right, y'all, we made it back home. I'm gonna give y'all a quick little grocery haul. Please ignore the socks. Um, well, I guess grocery slash other stuff, so we gonna start off over here, okay? So first I got this lasagna, I told y'all, means they get that for dinner. And I got two little packs of beef, cause we use that for like, pretty much everything I know how to make includes beef, so that's why I got those. Then I got these drainer things, cause like I said, I think something in my shower. 
And then, y'all, I got these lens wipes because I be using any and everything to wipe off my cameras. And I know it's bad, so I was like, let me go ahead and just get some. That was totally an impulse purchase, though. Then I got me some ranch because we don't have no condiments. And then I got some sour cream. Y'all see me pick up them little towels and scrub mommy. Almond milk unsweetened because I don't like it too sweet. Then y'all see I got all these poppies. Literally just got the peach, cola, and the strawberry vanilla one. Strawberry vanilla probably like my all-time favorite flavor. Then I got these little like toilet stickers. They kind of help your toilet like smell fresh, like in between you cleaning it. So I got some of those. And then I got some of the chocolate chip cookies because I always, always eat cookies. Then I got some french fries for no way to And then I got some honey tea. And then I got a 12 pack of Red Bull for Zay and a 12 pack of Alani for me. And then I got some Hershey's, Starburst gummies, Mambas, big bag of chips. And then I got some of these organic yogurts, which y'all seen we already opened one. But yeah, so I'm using my flashlight because I don't feel like going outside to go get my light. But yeah, so that's everything I have picked up today. Um, like I said, I didn't have everything I wanted, but it's enough to get us started, I guess. Um, I'm about to put these groceries up and then I'll see y'all if not tonight, tomorrow, because I'm not going to yeah, I'm getting tired and I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish everything I had planned for today. But if not, we'll just roll it over until tomorrow. And then I don't know if y'all seen or not, but I also do have some laundry on the table. So I also need to go ahead and put that up too. So yeah, I'm going to put all these groceries up and then put my laundry up and then we're going to get into it. And if it's tomorrow when we get into it, don't worry about it. As long as you get it done. Okay. I just want to know if you're my friend. I just wanna know if you can stand it. I know I've been away. I'm just trying to get my purpose straight, girl. Don't give my shit away. I'm just trying to get my purpose straight. Am I still wearing this headband because I was too lazy to take it off? Absolutely. But it also looked really good with my outfit okay so hey y'all it is the next day as y'all saw i did not get much done last night but i i don't want to say i discovered why but i have a reason why so we gonna get into that i've seen this word called well not anymore i've seen this phrase cycle syncing for probably about a year or so now and i'm not gonna lie to y'all i was thinking it meant like kind of like scheduling your period i thought basically like you was training your period which i know probably sounds so dumb like bitch how can you train your period like we could train our periods we probably don't have them let's be real but i was doing some research and come to find out cycle syncing has nothing to do with like scheduling your period but it's more about really just being mindful when you have your period like or not even when you have your period it's just about being mindful in general um because it basically goes off your hormone so basically it kind of tells you how you should eat what type of exercise you should do on what type of activities you should be doing um how you should be kind of interacting with people maybe sometimes you need to be a little bit more withdrawn sometimes you might be a little bit more social but y'all i'm looking at it, i'm like okay well that explains why i felt like doing x y and z or i didn't feel like doing x y and z because like last night y'all i got home and i looked at my room and i knew like it needed to be cleaned up but like i just did not have the energy and it's like I literally was trying to force myself to be productive, but it's like, I just need to listen to my body. And I'm a big believer in listening to my body, but I had no idea that like cycle syncing can help with that. So I was like, you know what? Even though we halfway through the video, I'm going to take a step back and we're going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to start cycle syncing. And because I am on my period right now, it says that basically I should kind of withdraw from people. Um, which makes sense because I have felt myself being like a little bit more irritable and I really just thought it was my depression But it's actually just me being on my cycle. So yeah, not as not as many social interactions um, Trying to do very low maintenance easy things. So when it comes in terms of exercises I'm supposed to be doing yoga Pilates very low intense workouts um, step wasn't on there, but it's so crazy because like my step workout is a low intense workout and I meant to do Pilates the next day I just didn't get up for class because I was not in the mood but I forgot the type of foods I'm supposed to eat but I know it said low intensity workouts and then like for activities it was saying like do things like journal reflect you know maybe meditate so that's what we're gonna do tonight also say you know you should do self-care which I was already planning to do self-care but I really was about to be like yeah I'm gonna skip the self-care and go more so hard on the productivity and cleaning so now we're just gonna make self-care to focus and then also make sure that we get a nice little workout in so we're gonna go take a walk when I get home so I'll see y'all there I'm about to fill out my water bottle then we're gonna go take this walk okay 
My water bottle actually already filled. I just need to put a liquid IV in here. I can't even go in the bathroom and show my outfit, but she's super cute. I think I wore it. I don't know if y'all seen this set yet, but I got this from TJ Maxx or Ross or something. And I'm really glad I picked this up because it's so cute. Like, see. Got this cute little sports bra with the matching biker shorts. And then I got on my Skims Bolero because I just like this match better. And I got on my Horachis. And me and this girl about to take a walk. It's kind of cold. I should have went walking right when I got off work. I should have took this walk right when I got off work, but now it's like too cold. I told y'all this weather's crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna go for a one mile today or two. I wish you the best for the rest of your life. Felt sorry for you when I looked in your eyes. But I need to confess, I told you a lie. All right, y'all. I finished my walk. I'm gonna get a mile because it's getting dark way faster than I thought. But we did our walk. I'm not even gonna show y'all my Apple Watch because, baby, it kept pausing, so it would embarrass me right now. But it didn't take me that long. But yeah, I did a little bit of sprinting and jogging too, like a little, little bit. But I was just trying to push myself. But I think I did pretty good. I only took me like two or three Billy Eilish songs, so I know that it was a good mile. Okay. But yeah, I don't work out. I ain't really did as much as I wanted to do, but it's okay. Something counts, especially since I'm on my period. I mean, I get double points just for trying. So yeah, y'all, we got a little workout in, a nice little low intensity workout. And now it's time for us to do some self care. Y'all, this is my dinner. I got McAllister's and then I got a Chipotle and chicken, baked potato, but Zay had shrimp and broccoli and he didn't want it. So I just put it on my baked potato too. And then I got sour cream and butter on it. I just know that's gonna be so good. And then I got the King Club. Yeah, y'all, this is my dinner. All right, y'all, so I just got out the shower and now it is finally time to do some self-care. Um, I just have been trying to incorporate more self-care into my life just because I have really been cycling with my self-care. But according to cycle syncing, it's also really important while I'm in my menstrual phase to do some self-care. So that's what we finna go ahead and do. I really, really, really wanna make myself a nice cup of tea, y'all. This our little drink thing, y'all. And my mama, like, she just got in the mood. She wants to organize everything the other day. Why does she, like, really organize everything? <laughs> like, she got all the teas organized. She got all the, like, drink mixes organized. She got, I don't even know. Oh, these are, like, green tea, I think. This is, like, lip and tea. Like, she bagged everything up and got it all together. So, she's the queen for that. Um, I'm trying to figure out which one I want to take. I ain't even knew I had this much tea, y'all, but I see I got this soothing caramel one, and I definitely need to start drinking this because my sleep schedule has not been good. Yeah, I seen I got that, and it's like, I have so many teas, obviously, but I just, like, stopped drinking tea. I don't really have a reason why, but I definitely need to start drinking my tea because I have a lot of them, and they have, like, really good benefits for you. So, yeah, I'm trying to see which one I want to drink now. I want to do something that's going to help with, like, my cramp, or the... The warmth is gonna help my cramps regardless. Pomegranate raspberry. I think raspberry leaf tea is like really good for your period. And I thought I had some, honestly. What is this? Ginger peach turmeric. That's that's like my favorite one, I think. I have raspberry, do I have raspberry leaf? Cause I could have sworn I did. Like I remember going, going out and specifically getting that one. So this is my organic raspberry tea. Um, I knew I had some, I was like, I just know that I got this specifically for when I'm on my period. So yeah, I'm about to make me a little tea and then I'm gonna apply my face mask. Yeah, um, I guess I'll let y'all, wow. I guess I'll let y'all know when I try this honey chai one. Um, Cause that's to support overall health, which I really don't even know what it means by that, but we're just gonna go with it. So I'll let y'all know how that tastes. I'll give you an update in another video, but we're gonna do this one for today. So let's go ahead and get this tea started, okay? I know I'm so accurate, y'all. I know. I'm just like, <laughs> sorry about that, y'all. Okay, here we go. Maybe? There we go. Um, I'm sorry that I'm so annoying, but like, I literally have an obsessive personality. So when I find something that I like, I'm gonna run out with it. Like, that's just my personality. I'm really sorry. Okay, 
But yeah, so let me do this face mask. I actually forgot that I even bought this, but I do have another Loops face mask. This is the Clean Slate Detoxifying Mask. It says detoxify, cleanse, hydrate, and soothe when you need it most. <gasps> this is so pretty! It's blue! Y'all, it's blue. I didn't even know it was gonna be blue. My last face mask from them was not like, it was just white, I think. This is so cute. Y'all know I love me some blue. Last time I tried to use these face masks, it did not go out. It did not turn out right, y'all. It just did not. And it's like, just to even get it on, like, it's just so much stuff. God. <laughs> okay, let me see if this goes better this time. Because I really would love for it to, you know, work. Okay, maybe it was just the other one, because this one I feel like applied way better than the last one. And I did like wash my face in the shower, so no, I'm not putting this on sweaty, nasty skin, okay? I did clean my face before I put this on. Just an FYI, because some people like to be like, oh my God, I didn't see you wash your face first. But those are really just trolls, if you really want to be honest. But anywho, I think my water is ready for my tea, so I'm about to slip this on and then just go ahead and let that start. Um, what do you call it when you let your tea sit? Got the word okay she's already she's cute she's cutie i'm gonna only get this one from now on because i did not like the last one so i'm about to take my tea out let it sit sift. i don't know what it's called um and what when i come back we're gonna do my what do you call it hair oil so let me go do that So as y'all can see, um, my tea is pretty much done. Um, I don't let it sit for long enough. I'm about to use these little scalp drops. Um, Zay's sister actually made this and she let me have some. And I just been, I don't know y'all, I'm so lazy when it comes to my hair. And it's crazy cause I will literally like oil my mama's scalp, you know, do something in Nova's hair, oil Zay's scalp, and I will literally neglect my own. So <laughs> I don't know why, but I be doing it a lot, so. I think it's very, very necessary. Especially like, y'all, I have not oiled my scalp since I had these braids. Not since I got them redone, not since I got them done the first time. Like, I have not oiled my scalp at all. And it's like, what's the point of a protective style if you're not actually gonna utilize it? Like, you have access to your scalp, how about we nurture it, okay? So, yeah, I'm just gonna apply these scalp drops and massage them into my scalp because my scalp probably begging for help. I haven't washed my hair with these braids. I'm low key scared too, so. Y'all let me know if y'all washed out hair with braids. I know some people do, but I just be scared that it's going to mess my hair up. Especially because, like, my hair is so soft and it frizzes. And I don't want it to, you know, mess up the look. So that's why I was, like, kind of hesitant. But, yeah, I probably need to do, like, a good... I mean, I don't really feel like this hair has been tingling. Like, this human hair that I bought from the store versus using my wig hair, I think I like the human hair better because it hasn't been tingling, like, at all. Literally at all. But it was $50, so I also shouldn't, okay? Um, but yeah, y'all, my thing keeps slipping. The next time it's up, I'm just gonna take it off because I think I had this on for a good bit. But yeah, y'all, um, tell me why. I was putting up the little lens wipes that I bought, right? And then I'm cleaning up my room and I'm looking and I see more lens wipes. If my mama ain't a saint, like she literally be buying me stuff and I don't even tell her like hey, I need this or I want this. She just be buying it. Like, she just be knowing me like the back of her hand. It's literally crazy. Like, it be so many times she'll buy me something and it's like, she don't even, I don't even have to communicate to her. It's just like, she be like knowing what I would need. Like, I don't know. That's just so thoughtful. I love her. Love her down. I'm on to go ahead, grab my tea and go ahead and get to journaling. Um, I really hope that this video inspires you to Yes, be productive on your period, but let's be intentional about it. Let's not kill ourselves because I feel like that's what I really like was about to make myself do. Like I was about to be like, you know what, you on your period, but you got to get stuff done. So we're going to clean up anyways. We're going to do like these hard, intensive workouts. Like the video is really going to be giving, forcing myself to be productive on my period. Versus now it's a lot more like chill. I'm going to listen to my body. I'm going to do what I'm capable of doing. Y'all, I don't know what you're doing in here, so it's going to... I really truly feel like I am such a I'm a high functioning person 
And even with like my mental things that have going on right now, I'm still a very highly functioning person. So I feel like my period is no exception. Like I should still be doing the most. But in filming this video, I've learned that just because I can does not mean that I should. Like, can I, you know, force myself to do like a deep clean of my room or clean up my car or, you know, do something else productive that's going to take a lot of energy and a lot of work? Yes, but I'm also going to be feeling fucking exhausted and hate myself afterwards. So I'm really glad that I discovered cycle syncing and I'm hoping that in me learning about it, I can also kind of teach y'all about it too because I always, like, like I said, steered away from it because I just thought it was completely something different than what it actually is. So... Hopefully this video inspires you to just research cycle syncing. You don't have to do it, but I think it would be something really, really um, beneficial for you to research because I believe I'm really trying to like live with intention and I'm really trying to focus on like my wellness and my health. And so I just feel like this just perfectly aligns and I'm really glad that I discovered this so I can start implementing cycle syncing all the time and be a little bit more rigorous with it because I literally found out about it like yesterday. So I'm learning and trying to see what works for me and what doesn't but yeah so let me know what y'all think about cycle syncing have you tried it before if you haven't tried it before are you gonna try it now let me know in the comments below y'all see how that thing got my skin like it's kind of setting in a little bit but y'all see how my skin kind of glowing a little bit yeah um but as i was saying my mama is really good about like buying me stuff so she found these aromatherapy pins and i'm not gonna lie i put it on the screen where she got it from because i'm not really sure but it's four pins um one is called Walk in the Woods. One is called Citrus Grove. Chris Mountain Air and then In Bloom. Probably going to use the Chris Mountain Air because that sounds like a musky type scent. Y'all know I love those. But I'm going to use these to journal. I feel like journaling in itself is obviously really good for you. But imagine doing it with an aromatherapy pen. This is about to be life changing. So I'm about to go ahead and journal. Um, I'm just going to literally talk about how I feel. I'm not going to give myself a prompt. I'm just going to write my feelings. Okay. Oh, y'all. These smell so good. Straight out of the package. Like... They're in tubes and I can smell them. What? All right, y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and sit down and go ahead and get started with journaling. Um, I ain't even smell like the pens individually, but like I said, I think I'm gonna like this one the most if I can get it open. Yeah, y'all, my camera better die, but I had to add some more honey to my tea because honestly, it was not sweet enough for me. Like, that's one thing about me. I like tea. I don't mind drinking it, but it got to be sweet. I don't know if it's still healthy if it's sweet, but... That's the only way I drink it, honestly. I don't know. Y'all, these little pens are so tea. It has like focus, energy, calm, joy. Like you can, I guess like it'll emit whichever like you want in the field. Please don't take this personal. But you ain't shit. You ain't special till I made you so. You better act like you know. Y'all, my camera keeps dying, but I did finish my tea and I done journaled. So we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Plus, I didn't have anything else planned anyway. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If so, make sure I give it a huge thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe if you aren't already and leave a comment below.